to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Most people who criticize and most people who are involved in talking about people it is because they do not have track record of greatness let me tell you the truth when you go through the law of process you will appreciate great people with profound respect wow this man had to go through this to become a pilot this man had to go through this to become a chartered accountant this man had to go through this there are people who will not be able to pastor 100 members effectively the trouble of 100 members will depress them till they almost plunge into depression and yet you see a man leading a ministry of thousands of people and all these people they are just lucky no sometimes god helps critics by giving them opportunities the way god helps critics is by giving them what you are criticizing god will give you as a gift or your take and then you will see it as a breakthrough and by yourself there are many people who can criticize am i not also anointed say for instance and god says okay let me give you open doors and you will preach for three months non-stop at the end of it you will sit down and you will search which topic have i not preached leadership i said it the other day oh i i preached that day on abraham i've preached about him and then you will now know the man who does three services or five services or preaches about eight sermons every day and he has done it for three or four decades without fail you now know that these people have something to say are we together my uncle is such a greedy man doesn't give anybody money no problem God helps you by giving you your first five million and as soon as that five million comes somebody will say please we need a surgery it's just three million we need otherwise somebody would die and I saw you in a vision and God said I should come and seek help that's when you will know that so it's not easy like that in the vision I saw someone giving you five million is that true sir you don't know whether you should lie or tell the truth now you know what it feels when you tell people just give me money anytime and they keep giving you let me tell you the truth until you are there just keep quiet let me repeat myself until you are there wearing the shoes just keep quiet is god speaking to us <laughs> what number now number four why does god pass us through processes are you ready to create memories and experiences in our lives that will help us sustain the success that is before us to create memories and experiences that will help us sustain the success that is before us it is very powerful why do we go through processes why do you have to subscribe to the law of process because there is something that you go through in those seasons of pain that will help you to be able to manage greatness can i tell you ask anybody who has tasted of genuine greatness there is a skill it takes many years ago i had a dream and in that dream a man of god in this nation he was standing on stage and i was invited to come and preach i considered myself from that dream that ah how could i be given this great platform and then when i came in the dream i found out that you were not standing on the ground like this it's like you have to climb the pulpit the pulpit and stand and it was so slippery when i stood there ah 
I had to hold it and say, is this, I'm, I'm just trying to gain my footing. And yet the man was standing there very easily. I woke up from that dream and I said, wow, there is a skill to standing here. It's more than just facing the pulpit. There are those who didn't stand well. They didn't even stand up to two years. If you see people standing here, all you see is not all there is. So let me tell you this. There are many people today, respectfully speaking, not to downplay your pedigree. By the time you see 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion, you will run in a way that God must ask you what he asked Adam. Where are you? I can't find you again. I can't find you again. It's not only your pastor that cannot find you. Where are you? Your wife can't find you. Your children can't find you. Even your destiny cannot find you. Where are you? So, hold on. If God knows that that is the weight of honor he's bringing, he will subject you through a season that no matter the level of lifting, the memory of what you went through, do you think Joseph will waste his opportunity like that? I've taught you here. After many years of being in the prison, no, he would maximize destiny. Most people waste greatness because they really did not pay any serious price for it. Especially for those who inherited it. There is a difference between, respectfully speaking, someone who just inherited wealth and blessings just like that. And somebody who started from minus one before you got to zero. Before you now started climbing. They are disciplined, a lot more disciplined. Mismanagement many times is because we do not have a history and a track record of process. Are we together? Yes. When pride wants to take over your life, the Holy Spirit can easily pick one story from your life and remind you, remember where I brought you from and quickly you call yourself to order. Woe betides a great man who does not have a history of experiences where the Holy Spirit can pull from to put your life in order. You will not go far. Are we together? Hmm. Finally, the final reason why we go through process is so that through the pain and through the process, we can gain experience to be able to raise others. Why does God introduce process to our lives? So that through the pain and through the process that we go through, we will gain experience that will empower us to raise others. 2 Corinthians 11. Okay, we already took that. Let's, let's do 2 Corinthians 1, 4. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. Look at me, please. It says, who comforted us in all our tribulation. Is that in your Bible? That we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherein we ourselves are comforted of God. When you go through a process... The day you see somebody going through it, you can draw from your experience and say, I've been there. Man of God, don't worry. Apostle, I give so much to my members. I love them with all my heart and they don't appreciate me. And then the man can say, let me tell you a story. In 1961 or 1971, I remember having preached. They beat me and drove me out of one village. And you are listening and learning and you are drawing strength from it. Can I tell you, you are not a true mentor if you don't have stories. What becomes the basis of your teaching? It is not only principles. They say the secret of great men is hidden in their stories. So God is giving you stories today. Sometimes I share the bits of my experiences that I share and I almost relieve them as I'm sharing them and nodding my head. I'm saying how time flies. Who would have known that those seasons were only preparing me for these days? And who, who knows the days now, all the seasons that I'm in now, only God knows what is preparing me for. Can I tell you the truth? You must learn to laugh when the law of process is at work in your life. 
rejoice even when you do not understand God because you are drawing a story how else will you be able to help people help young people to prosper if you yourself have not tasted of poverty and all of that now you can tell them I know what it means to be 10 years without a job I know what it means let me tell you this what looks like the basis for shame in your life today will become what the nations will come to honor you for there are times in your life where a call will be made over your destiny but the requirement to climb that table of greatness is who has a scar in his hand anybody who does not have a scar they will tell you sorry you are not allowed so you may be going through things today the scar that god is allowing you to have has monetary value it has honor value go through it with grace as a man of god tomorrow if you are able to teach people and god honors you and gives you a global ministry when a young man comes and says sir i'm i'm in debt i'm not able to do ministry well you smile because it's not only memory verses you have you have memories you can draw from it and say i know what to tell you believe me i know what to tell you and then you begin to give the person stories today people come and they meet me and they say ah apostle i am owing um my life i tell them relax please have you eaten no you don't know that have you eaten this man talking to you as as i know what it means to be under financial pressure so that we can comfort others with the same comfort do not waste your pain there is a crown that your pain today will put on your head my question for you as we wrap up tonight's teaching is can God count on you are you going to join the many who have disappointed God and disappointed destiny or are you going to make up your mind whatever you want to do Lord you can do through me whatever you want to say lord you can say through me whoever you want to lift lord you can lift through me. wherever you want to go lord you can go I'm yours. I'm yours forevermore. Whatever you want to start, Lord, you can start. Me, whatever you want to end, Lord, you can end for I'm vow and I made a covenant with my destiny that I will not fail God and I will not fail my generation but talk is cheap these are the principles that you must be willing to go if you cannot live with these principles my dear brother my dear sister let me assure you that destiny will only remain prophecy and empty talk from the lips of a non-compliant believer there are two prayer points we're going to pray right now many of us are stepping into defining moments in our lives God has pointed all these areas there has to be a prayer point you've already generated from this teaching 
without me having to prompt you for some of you it is the understanding that there is destiny within me some of you is the understanding that just folding my arms and crossing my legs will not actualize destiny some of you you've learned tonight that destiny can be aborted yes sir it can some of you need discovery some of you need development some of you need to go for knowledge some of you need to invest in prayer very very important some of you need to go for competence and excellence are we together some of you need to be disciplined and focused and some of you need to stand haven't done all to stand to understand that process is not anything strange process is not necessarily an attack no no matter how how well a mother feeds her baby the baby will not become an adult by the next day it will still be called a healthy baby and if an elderly man starves himself to death he will not say he will not be a baby an elderly man who became a baby he will be a malnourished elderly man there are some things that only time does if a woman takes in even if she's praying in tongues every day the time allotted for pregnancy is nine months she will have to wait in hope every day she can pray for supernatural birth and safety while she's carrying the baby but that nine months it must happen no matter how gifted your child is in nigeria and most parts of the world once he's not 18 years according to the law of the land if he's caught driving around they will take him to court even if he's as tall as an iroko tree if he's 13 years his height notwithstanding he will wait let me tell you the truth there are some things that will only happen with time and in time man of god no matter how you pray and fast take it easy the anointing will come gradually don't expect to get benny Hinn's anointing overnight don't expect the grace and the impact and the result that is upon our fathers to land on you but they laid hands on me i can tell you what came on you the whole thing came on you but the administration of it is part time and by your knowledge god isn't foolish god will not carry the load that a camel carries and put it on a tortoise or put it on a dog it will kill you he says to not cast his spell before swine so for some of you be careful what you are praying for transfer that prayer into your future and be grateful for what god is doing now lord i'm praying if if i do not make 10 billion or 50 billion by the end of 2022 except god is not faithful let me help you you are not wrong you are not a sinner it's just the wisdom you need because the way god works he does not jump you from being a broke person to have 50 billion you cannot have 50 billion without being friends with government and certain people there is a network that will have to maintain that level of cash flow there are many things we do not know we just claim things blindly and preachers is good to pray for people but we must teach them wisdom so we stop mocking ourselves in church and making a fool of ourselves god gives speed god makes great but there is a process final scripture luke 2 52 give it to us in amplified if we can or niv any of the versions and jesus increased one version will say grew this statement for many years disturbed me why should jesus grow jesus grow what are you growing into again the word the logo is not part of it the, the fullness of the expression of the Godhead but when he became a man he was never born an adult there was only one adult who came and caused trouble immediately and God said no from that time everybody must go through process can I tell you 
run away from people with instant results without process before you celebrate people and draw their achievements and ruin your space and your destiny find out whether there is a track record if you don't find blood there if you don't find tears there if you don't find faith there if there is no equation in their life where they had to trust god and agree with god you are sitting on a time bomb is god helping us quit the pressure of trying to belong to associations and groups be patient and grow if god has given you the leverage of great parents or a good ministry good mentorship take it as a leverage but it will not replace this price that you must pay is someone ready to pray just two prayer points tonight one cry for grace lord grace to not disappoint you and grace to not disappoint my generation go ahead and pray may my life not be a lesson and a warning may it be an inspiration someone is praying may my life not be a lesson and a warning let it be an inspiration someone is praying that when they talk about those making impact for the kingdom in ministry in business forget about the naysayers focus on your destiny everyone on earth needs help including arrogant people everyone on earth needs help including those who act like they do not so don't mind anybody who looks down on you open up your heart early and say god help me someone is praying for everyone that ask it receive it lord i will not disappoint you and i will not disappoint my generation i obtain grace i obtain grace i obtain grace i obtain grace someone pray grace to find my place in life grace to be determined Grace to go for knowledge. Grace to invest in prayer as a lifestyle. Grace to be disciplined and to be focused. Grace to be competent and excellent. Grace to endure. Let the fire walk me, O oh God, to become that vessel of honor. Let the fire prune everything. I will pass through the law process with honor. Go ahead and pray. I obtain grace to pass through the, the season of process. You are blessing me. I thank you for what you have done in my life. In the name of Jesus. Look up please. Let me tell you one of the major principles I learned from our fathers of faith that has helped my life in a mighty way today a life of consistent gratitude for many of you if you take your eyes away from all this life of complaining and grumbling as a man of god god gave me 1000 members oh god if you live in that realm you will fail some of you you may not have one million the 200,000 naira you have in your account, the 10 million, the 100 million, you have 1 billion, you are saying, God, what is in 100 billion you cannot give me? Father, that you were able to trust me with 1 billion, I am grateful. This is what many generations may not even get. I am grateful. When we were growing up, we used to sing a song, some have food but cannot eat some can eat but have no food we have food and we can eat glory be good values now our children just say plus plus jesus minus satan very indisciplined way of saying thank you over a meal when last did you take your eyes away from what god has not done to look at the many things he has done 
is someone learning now make up your mind that this year will not be a year of complaining and grumbling unhealthy comparison lord thank god for the rapper you gave me but is this person not a human being too why are you giving her a rapper of two million and you gave me a rapper of 200 and god says you will remain there because you think i'm stupid for trusting you everything multiplies when you become thankful and thoughtful god god sees my heart and i will tell you sincerely i have never never ever wished to say oh god please i'm not grateful just make me like this mm, i don't do that lord i am grateful right from the time this ministry was in its infancy if i come for koinonia today sincerely and i see only 10 or 20 people from a leadership standpoint i will be concerned and responsible and find out why but intrinsically from my heart i will stand before the god of heaven and say the privilege you gave me to teach somebody don't don't downplay the fact that somebody will leave his house and come to listen to you i've taught you not everybody thinks you are a big deal a man of god called me one time some years ago and said he went somewhere and the honorarium they gave him was so insulting i just kept quiet and i just counseled him i said sir well i respect your philosophies but i have never preached because of money i never when i started ministry i didn't even know that a man of god goes to preach and they package an envelope and give him i never knew that sometimes it's when i'm done and i'm climbing the bike going they would tear 2a and roll money just looking like indian hemp and just squeeze it and give me and i receive it with joy it's still i get home that i even know what it is that that they gave me but right now we have many people you preach you go to a ministry where you see that the gen is offing and only you know they are struggling and you are i'm not i'm not here to cause any trouble in the body of christ we must be careful if you don't know how to kneel down and say thank you thank you god you gave me tea i'm tired where is bread god said because you even have the mouth to drink the tea they murmured in the wilderness is it in your bible it says do everything without complaining or argument in the next one minute I know that our time is up but I want you I don't know how you will say it but I want you to look at this God who has been merciful from January till now June it's part of the journey to your I don't know how you are going to do it you don't have to kneel or stand or whatever but let it be from your heart tell him thank you thank you father I've not gotten the job yet but I didn't lack food this year. I ate healthier and happier than even people who had jobs. Someone say thank you. I roamed around people with communicable diseases and Lord you have kept me and protected me. The same thing someone did and died. I did the same thing and I'm still standing. I like you to pray someone invested his money somewhere did not get returns and plunged to depression and died you invested your money there and yet you are still standing you have the courage to even stand say thank you take your eyes away from what God has not done just one minute Is someone praying I praise you I praise you oh Lord I praise you I praise you oh Lord in my life Lord I see what you're doing one more time, Lord. 
I lift my hands in praise of your holy name. I lift my hands in praise. One last time from the depth of your heart. I praise you. I praise you. Oh, Lord. I praise you. I praise you. thank you for your hand in this ministry thank you for the miracles oh how can we complain you have been faithful thank you for every life and every family represented here thank you for everything that has happened in and around our lives from January till now whether we've understood it or not we say thank you because indeed you are faithful thank you for life thank you for health Thank you for favor. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for deliverance. Lord, we vow tonight that we will live thankful lives as we trust you to walk us through the various phases of our destinies. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, we declare as a people and as individuals that we will not abort destiny in the name of Jesus Christ that which has been earmarked for us as far as destiny is concerned and as far as your kingdom come agenda is concerned Lord we will live it to its fullest I pray for everyone tonight oh God following from Zaria here in Abuja and across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus the grace to fulfill your destiny receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ and for some of you who have veered off the path of destiny the Lord God of heaven is showing you mercy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen and amen there are people here tonight who haven't heard the things please keep standing let's just stand for a minute or two and let's minimize movement please there are people here whilst you heard me teach and preach the Holy Ghost began to speak to you that this service was for you he's brought you here tonight to give you an opportunity to start afresh for some of you and then for some of you you've never even made that decision for Jesus listen coming to Jesus is not a religious thing this is not just about a man of God making an altar call and you responding to it it is the Lord Jesus himself calling you to give you an experience you can choose to reject Jesus it is still within your power remember I told you that our destinies are predetermined by God but actualized through the decisions and the choices every one of us here who is saved had to make this decision consciously and tonight God is giving you a chance we have just a few minutes a minute or two for you you are here and you are saying apostle I truly sincerely want to make it right with Jesus or you are saying apostle I remember giving my heart to the Lord but honestly as it is now would you give me the chance to make it right with him there is always room at the cross for you I will count one to five because of our time and may I request that you quickly run if you can walk fast if you can and make your way to the front here and for those of you who are scattered across the overflows you may do well to walk to the front of your screens following from the nations of the earth whether in your room your office following by way of television now is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life the Bible says as many who will come to him 
he will not cast away come one are we celebrating them koinonia leave your seat and come to jesus don't be ashamed don't be afraid apostle i desire to come but i'm ashamed i'm afraid come come to jesus he's willing to give you a new beginning young old from far and near male female there is enough room at the cross come to jesus three i count five and then we begin to pray perhaps someone is still thinking apostle i do not consider myself to be a bad person only that i cannot remember making this decision join them join them there is such a thing as the assurance of salvation after everything i've done with my life can god still take me back absolutely you are welcome hallelujah praise the name of the lord i appreciate every one of you please come stand very quickly and the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away listen as you're standing here i want you to truly believe that you're standing before jesus the son of the living god and that he's able to give you a new beginning praise the name of the lord i'm going to lead you to pray this prayer and may i request that you pray it from the depth of your heart it's more than a poem you're reciting this is a declaration of your dependence and your need for jesus please lift your right hand high above your head if you can and if you are following from across the world you can do same say after me everyone say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive forgiveness of sin and i declare that you are my savior you are my lord and you are my king i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this ones no man is able to draw them except you draw them by your spirit they have come and they have made this declaration of faith therefore by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus christ the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward ever and backward never. He gives you a new beginning from tonight. In Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen and God bless you. Now please may I request their counselors waving the placard and waving their hands at you. My right which is your left please all of you in concert can you just move to my right which is your left or whatever direction where you find the counselors waving at you they'll have a word with you very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat hallelujah praise the name of the lord have you been blessed tonight let me speak over your life and then we'll wrap up for tonight I can assure you of one thing that when God is done with you all that will be left in your life is beauty and glory in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over your life may the blessings of heaven rest upon you every trouble of your destiny this is the week the Lord separates you from them permanently in the name of Jesus the wisdom you need to live an excelling life and to maximize destiny let it be released upon you fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your word study life you are an exceptional believer the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life becomes evidence to all let favor rest upon your life and it is speaking over your life the grace to go through the seasons and the faces of your destiny I release upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are blessed today 
and you are blessed all through this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen and amen again to encourage you you see what the Lord is doing week in and week out here please make sure that you invite someone to church it is your responsibility as part of this vision to ensure that you do not come to the house of God alone do not say there are so many people there is still room for so many to know Jesus to love him and to grow in the things of the spirit so please do well and and then be sure to also listen to these teachings again go to koinonia global and listen to it again and you can do well to help somebody with this teaching not just to market a man of God's message but to be able to get the truth to as many you can be helping a destiny a life a family a ministry the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ after the grace do greet one another and um, look for anything that is good and blessed and just tell them as a communication of your love and the Lord will help us in Jesus name let's share the grace May the grace of our Lord, the love of God. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.